ओके लेट्स डिस्कस सम मोर डीप इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट रिप राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल रिप वर्जन टू स्पेसिफिकली सो वी आर एक्चुअली कॉन्टिन्यूइंग आवर रिप राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस सम की एट्रीब्यूट हाउ इट वर्क एंड सम इंपॉर्टेंट इंटरव्यू पॉइंट अबाउट मल्टीकास्ट एड्रेसिंग अबाउट पैकेट फॉर्मेट मैसेज टाइप एंड लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट इट्स टाइमर्स एंड हाउ डज इट डू द कैलकुलेशन एंड हाउ डज रिप राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल अवॉइड लूब्स because it's an old type of routing protocol which is prone to loops actually so loop avoidance is very very important so rip2 timers and intervals it uses four timers or intervals let me ask you a quick question how many types of timers or intervals are used by eigrp routing protocol please write your answer in the comments below okay if we talk about rip rip version 2 it uses four types of timing intervals very important interview question so it uses update interval 30 second invalid interval before it can mark a route as invalid 180 second means 3 minutes flush interval it flushes after 240 seconds and hold down interval 180 second i have already explained these ones in our ospf lecture in detail so the meanings are same okay another thing how does it do the metric calculation means how does it decide that okay which side or which hop to take next to reach to the destination let's say we have to send a message from a to b and there are multiple ways to reach let's say there is this way and then there is one router another way then another way with three routers so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so there are three paths between a and b we want to send a message from a up to b how to send there are three ways to send one way is to send from here another way from here another one from here so how will rip2 behave in this case will it choose the first path second path or the third path please write your answer in the comments below let me explain so it will choose very straight forward we don't have to do any complex calculations like ospf or eigrp very simple it will simply see that where are the less number of hops so definitely this middle path has only one router so it will choose this path so maximum it can reach or it can pass through 15 hops after 15 hops we consider that okay it means this path is not usable because after passing so many hops the route becomes less and less reliable so this is how rip2 does its calculation very simple just simple number of hops okay another important point interview point that how does rip avoid loops so rip has multiple methods mainly four methods to avoid the loops when they were designing the rip routing protocol rip version 2 then they have placed these parameters these techniques inside the rip routing protocol so that we can avoid the loops first one is called as split horizon split horizon means that the router may not advertise a route back to its neighbor from which it was learned let's say a has sent a route to b so b can transmit this route to c d e all other routers but it can not retransmit back to a this technique is called split horizon because if it readvertises it means a will again readvertise to b b will send back to a again so it will be a loop the second one is poison reverse which means that a router advertises a network as unreachable it declares it unreachable through the interface from which it was learned which means that b if i am learning from a i will mark it straight forward as poison route which means could not be learned back okay another one is it uses triggered updates if a metric is changed then it does not wait for its timer like these kind of timer so it does not wait that okay next interval will come and then i will send the update because before that might be 10 times it has changed so it sends the flash updates or triggered updates that okay the timer i had to send sorry guys i had to send you the information after 30 second after 60 second or 90 whatever but i am sending you this new new information because something has changed in the network let's say a router has two networks connected with it and it has a neighbor b from a to b if this network this network let's say it becomes unreachable after some time so immediately a will trigger an update to b that dear b 
this network let's say 10.0.0/8 so this network is no more available with me it has gone down or a new network comes it sends a triggered update this is called triggered update this also helps to avoid any confusion and loops as well and the fourth one is hop count we have already discussed hop count means that after 15 hops 16 we can say starting from zero so after 15 hops it becomes unreachable route it declares unreachable unreliable route so this avoids us count to infinity problem means instead of waiting waiting for infinity and uh, making the you know the whole routing information unreliable so it declares after 15 hops after 15 routers it says no this route is not usable anymore please use another one or just delete this route from the routing table so these are four techniques to avoid loops in rip split horizons poison reverse triggered updates and hop count i hope this was useful for you guys so if i get good feedback i will prepare the next part it is already in progress and i will continue on the remaining routing protocols i am getting a, a huge request for bgp again and again so it is in my plan mpls i have already finished so hopefully after this i will go with the bgp if you have any comments any suggestions about this series this, this is the third part of rip so you guys can mention in the comments below and we'll try to support on that thank you